Hi there. Today is the orientation of A-level mathematics syllabus. So let's see what do we have in detail. Hello class. In today's lesson, we are going to discuss the orientation of A-level mathematics syllabus. The syllabus code of which is 9709 and I am your teacher Asif Salim. So let's jump into it. First of all, let's see what Cambridge is offering in this subject. In this subject, in total, we have six papers. Paper 1, 2, 3 are pure mathematics and paper number four is about mechanics and the last two papers are probability and the statistics usually labeled as s1 and s2 now let's see what is in it now in a level mathematics the syllabus code of which is 9709 now we have two different options available two different routes first one is as level students which will take initially two papers and a level students which will take all the four papers all together in one go now let's discuss first of all as level students choices as we have discussed earlier as students have to appear in two papers now which two papers Cambridge has given three different options first one is pure mathematics that is the students will appear in paper one and paper two or second option pure with mechanics that is paper number one and four and the third option is mechanics third option is pure mathematics and probability and statistics that is paper number one and paper number five all these options will lead you to a level mathematics no not at all the first option unfortunately will not lead you to complete a level that is after doing this a level as level this means that after choosing choice number one there is a full stop that is you cannot proceed to a levels this option is only for those students who are willing or or this option is for those students who are aiming for as only not to complete a levels complete All right, now let's discuss A-level students. A-level students have to take four papers. Now, which four papers? Cambridge has decided that they can choose four different combos in two different options. That is pure mechanics and probability and statistics. That is, you have to pick paper number one and three, which are pure mathematics, paper number four, which is mechanics, and paper number five, which is S1, probability and statistics or there is another way which is pure mathematics and probability and statistics that if you are allergic or if you are not comfortable with mechanics you have this option in this option you will choose paper number one three which is again pure and paper number five and six which is s1 and s2 but it is obvious that paper number six is s2 which is higher level of statistics you cannot take higher level of statistics if you have not studied paper number five that is if you have chosen paper number four which is mechanics you cannot take paper number six along with it so if you have to, if you want if you insist if you want to study s2 you have to choose paper number five as a summary i can say that there is no combination of paper number one, three, four, and six. Now let's have a quick summary what we have discussed so far so that we have everything in one slide, in, in one picture, clear picture, what's happening. If you are a student of AS, that is if you are planning for two papers at the first place, then you have three options as we have discussed earlier, paper one, two, or paper one, four, or paper number one, five, and again paper 15 i've written last two op last option twice let's see in a while why 
Now, if you are planning for A levels, you know that you have to cover four papers. If you have done paper number one and two, unfortunately, that will not lead you to A level. You will not be able to complete A level mathematics. That is a full stop. This is the end of story, end of journey. You will get yes, mathematics certificate, and yes, you are you will just go and continue your further study. But mathematics is done. But if you have done paper number one and four, then you can complete the other two papers, that is paper number three and five. As a result, you will complete your combination number one, which says you should have paper one, three, four, five done, then you have AS, A level certificate. And if you have done paper number one and five, then obviously you will choose paper number four this time along with paper number three. Again, you have combination number one, combination number one covered. Again here, combination number, again here, again here, combination number one, which is one, three, four, five is achieved, target accomplished. Now, if you have chosen paper number one and five, there is another option of S2 that you can choose paper number one, three, five, six. That is after you have studied paper number one and five, that is P1 and S1, you will study paper number three and S2 which is paper number six. So this is a quick summary, what we have discussed so far. So it means for AS, you have three options. One is not leading to A levels, but the other two leading to A levels. Now again, for your reference, we are discussing Cambridge A-level mathematics syllabus and in which we have six papers in total. So I have given you again the list. You might forgot it. Three pure, one mechanics and two statistics. Now let's have a quick assessment overview. How is Cambridge going to assess you in each paper? In paper number one, the total marks are 75. The time duration is one hour, 50 minutes, and you will have structured questions somewhere from 10 to 12. In paper number two, total marks are 50. Time duration is one hour, 15 minutes, and the questions will be from six to eight. For paper number three, which is again pure, we have 75 marks, time duration is 1 hour 50 minutes. Questions would be 9 to 11. This paper number 1, 2 and 3 are pure mathematics section. Then we have paper 4 which is mechanics and here the time duration is 1 hour 15 minutes. Again, marks 50 and questions will be from 6 to 8 structured questions. And same goes for paper 5, it is S1, 50 marks, time 1 hour 15 minutes six to eight structured questions and paper number six we have 50 marks one hour 15 minutes and questions are again from six to eight so this is the criteria this is the uh, paper pattern you can you can say on the total time limit and if you focus on over here you will see that only paper one and paper three have more marks obvio they will have more weightage and all the four papers have less marks less questions so they will have less weightage. Now we have chosen the first combination. The first combination is the most popular combination. Most of the schools, most of the students choose this combination. So we have dropped paper number two and paper number six. Out of six, we have chosen the four papers. This is the first combination available for the A-level students. This is the most popular one. Now, paper number one, three, four, five. And if now out of these four papers, we will cross paper number three for AS. For AS, there is no P3. We, we have to take paper one, P1, and along with that, we will choose either P4, which is the mechanics, or paper five, which is S1. So it means in AS mathematics, you have P1 compulsory, and for the rest of the two papers, you will choose either four or five. Now, for AS mathematics, the percentage for paper one is 60%, and for paper four, it's 40%. And if you have chosen paper number five, again, the percentage is 40%. This is a structure or the marks distribution for the AS grade. 
Now, if you are doing A-level mathematics, whether you have chosen the AS route or you have chosen the four papers all together, now that 100% will be divided in these four papers. Paper 1, Paper 3, Paper 4 and Paper 5. How they will be distributed? Paper 1 will carry 30% and Paper 3 also carries 30% of the total. Paper 4, 20% and Paper 5 is also 20%. This leads you to 100% total marks. This is how the marks are distributed. Now let's discuss the subject content in each paper. Paper number one, we know marks 75 times one or 15 minutes, questions 10 to 12. The content, the topics which we are going to cover here, quadratics, functions, coordinate geometry, circular measure, trigonometry, series, differentiation and integration in paper number three which is of equal weightage as of p1 we have questions 9 to 11 the topics are algebra logarithms trigonometry differentiation integration numerical solution of equations vectors differential equations complex numbers these are the total nine topics in P1, we have eight topics. In P3, we have nine topics. Paper number four, 50 marks, one hour, 15 minutes, six to eight structured questions. The topics are forces and equilibrium, kinematics of motion in straight line, momentum, Newton's laws of motion, and work power energy. Paper number five, which is S1 statistics, marks 50 time 115 minutes, question six to eight structured questions. The topics which we have to cover are representation of data, permutation, combination, probability, discrete random variables, normal distribution. If you still have any doubt, write below in the comment and keep watching and keep learning from this channel. So please think subscribing this channel. So stay in touch, stay tuned. Till then, till the next time, ciao.